the good thing about um, these guys is, you know, you can go one or two ways if you're a senior and um, kind of take take it easy because you have a lot of talent. But these guys have been here, you know, every day in summer workouts, um, going to all the passing leagues, really working hard and pushing our sophomores and juniors. So a lot of leaders in that group. Four of our five linemen, um, they're all, you know, they're big, fast, strong kids. They I guess the average weight is probably 260, 270, but just fast, athletic. Um, our backfield, Aaron Bean will be running as quarterback, real fast kid, runs the option great. Um, returners, Ricky and A.J. Grice, who was our fullback last year, but such a fast kid, we moved him to the other running back and uh, bringing up a junior uh, to run fullback who played defense for us last year, Darius Moore. So. We're excited about that, and then receivers, you know, Dante Hernandez and and uh, our other returning seniors are, are going to fill that role and, and rotate in. So we're excited. DP and Tupac, you know, they they've been working hard. They've been, um, you know, DP has been starting on the line since he was a sophomore, and now he's just grown into his body. He's six three. Um, he's up to about two sixty, and you know, just an athletic, strong kid. Um, Tupac. You know, looking at film last year, he was probably our best lineman at, at getting on the backers and, and moving them around. So it's, it's nice this year to have all those guys back um, because we're just coaching the finer points of our running game. They're uh, looking good, and, and we're expecting big things. Um, you know, we, our, our DBs are all returning, so all our DBs are back, which is great. Um, we lost one linebacker, and we lost a D-end, and, and one of our... Uh, D lineman, but we have a uh, newcomer Jose uh, Rincon at, at nose guard. He's 270, just quick. Um, James will probably he's going to be moving down and playing everywhere. Um, so it's a cohesive group. We had a lot of shutouts last year. Did a lot of great things. We like to pressure quarterbacks, and I think this year with our you know defensive speed, talk about speed on the offense side, but we really have a speed defense. So it's going to be it should be a good year. James Romero, he. You know, he's probably the strongest kid in, in New Mexico. I, he, but the things, he's just a smart football player. He's really quick off the ball. You know, he's a wrestler, which, which helps him in football. Just quick, um, gets to the quarterback. He's going to move around a lot more this year. We had him at defense end standing up. This year, you know, we're going to stand him up, put him down everywhere because he can handle pretty much any position except for our DBs. And, you know, Dante Hernandez coming back this year. Um, Probably the fastest kid in New Mexico now. He lost to uh, Cass in the in the hunter, but he you know just got out leaned and he's back at um, at corner. Real strong kid, not the tallest kid, but um, you know can run with anybody out there. So we're excited. Gilbert Ramirez is our other corner. He's been a starter for three years as well. He's uh, you know a little taller, lankier, um, great cover guy. And we have a really um, tough pre-district schedule, which. We're excited about. Um, we open up with La Cueva, which is a much improved team. Uh, then we we have uh, Sandia. We had in the playoffs last year. You know, Coach Barker always does a great job down there. Um, then we have Clovis. You know, coming in and we played them my first year in the playoffs, so we know how tough they are, and they have the all-time winning coach. Um, then we have Highland, who has a new coach, so we're not too you know sure what to expect from Highland. And then we have the other two Western, you know, two teams on this West side that have been doing a great job the last two years, and that's Volcano and Rio Rancho. And then we go into our district, which is, uh, I think we open up with Albuquerque High, um, new coach there, um, Valley. Then we go to uh, Rio Grande, another new coach, and then we end up with West Mesa, who I've seen had, a, you know, they look really good in passing leagues this summer. So 